Hi, good morning, Ayaza. Welcome to our morning class. Um, how are you? Good to know that you're okay. Okay, so Ayaza, we are going to continue having the lesson of storytelling. Okay, so in today's storytelling, we are going to have the three little pigs. Okay, the story of three little pigs. Ready? Let's start. Okay, so the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The pigs lived in a small house with their mom. One day, their mom sent them off to build houses of their own. As they walked down the road, the first little pig met a farmer pulling a cart of a straw. It looked very warm, just right for building a house, he asked if he could have some. The farmer agreed and the first little pig began to build his straw house. So the first little pig built his house made of straw. Now, a little way down the road, the second little pig saw a woodcutter with a cart of the sticks. They looked thick and lawn, so right for building a house. He asked if he could have some. The woodcutter agreed and the second little pig began to build his wooden house. So, the second pig built his house made of sticks. Now, let's see the third pig. The third little pig trotted down the road. After a short time, he met a builder pushing a wheelbarrow full of sticks. The third little pig thought to himself, How strong those bricks look! I think they would make an excellent house. So the third little pig asked the builder for some of his bricks, and he began to build a house that was stronger and bigger than the others. Soon all three little pigs had a house of their own, and they were all very happy. Then, one day, a big bad wolf came walking along the road. He saw the first little pig in his straw house. With an evil glint in his eye, he knocked on the first little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he said. No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in, cried the frightened little pig. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down, growled the wolf. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the straw house down. The first little pig ran all the way to his brother's wooden house. Okay, the wolf was at the house made of his sticks. He knocked on the door again. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. He snarled. Not by the hairs in our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, cried the pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Growled the wolf. The wolf huffed and puffed as he blew the house down. Okay, so my goodness. Okay, the straw house fell down and the stick house also fell down. The two little pigs ran as fast as they could all the way to their brother's brick house. The wolf was soon at the brick house. He knocked on the door. Little pigs, little pigs. Let me come in. He growled. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Squit by the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Roared the wolf in his loudest voice. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed but he could not. Wow, what a strong house. But then again, the big bad wolf was very angry. He looked at the house and saw the chimney. 
As quick as a flash, he climbed up on the top of the roof and into the chimney. Flash! But the big bad wolf was in for a big surprise. The third little pig has been making soup and there was a big pot of boiling soup on the fire. So the wolf slid down and with a loud howl, the foolish wolf jumped out of the pot, ran out of the house and off down the road. Then the three little pigs cheered loudly. The big bad wolf was never seen again, and the three little pigs lived happily ever after. It's the end. Okay, so nine um, was harm. Okay, so that is the end of the story, and the lesson for the Ayesha is that always make yourself safe. Always make your shelter safe, your house is safe, so that even a very bad wolf can't come inside your house and you'll be safe. Okay? And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for attending and thank you for listening to the Three Little Pigs story. Thank you for attending. Happy weekend. This is the end of our class. Goodbye for now. See you next time.